All right, we got a new VEX code IQ today, configure, and this is our new friend right here. We have VIQRC mix and match AI model. Let's go. Would I do this? No, don't do that. Get out of here. Get out of here, colors. I don't need you. I need my AI classification. Anywho, let's check it out. So we've got our camera over here. <coughs> and look at those beautiful, beautiful pins it's grabbing. Uh, this one on the ground is gathering, or it's seeing, I think because it can still see the little, uh, those two pointy things on the top. Uh, this one over here, that yellow one in the middle, now it'll see it. But as I go away, I don't think you can see. So I think it's trying to pick up on those sticking up top there. You can see it also grabs the beam. This field, of course, is not set properly and gives us uh, information on those. CXCY. Can I freeze this video? All right, so let's see what we got here. <coughs> so CXCY, that's got to be the X and Y coordinates. I think it's from the center. And the width and height might just be the width and height of the box. Does that make sense? 63, 130. Is that CY18? Oh, yeah, it's all the way at the top. Yes, yes, yes. So if they're at the top of the screen, yeah, it'll be a small number. Duh. So you could do stuff with that width and height, and then it gives a score. Those are all good scores. So, um, yeah, getting information here. There's also a, um, well, let's look here at what all you can get. Uh, just kind of playing around with this. Let's open up the help, please, because I need help. Um, we have object exists. That's just if it finds anything. Um, <coughs> bro, I don't understand any of this yet. Here we go. So it can find a beam, red pin, blue pin, orange pin. Um, object count... So I think you'll go through the, I mean, you'll have to, the field will be set up, so you can kind of know just based on if you're looking for red pins, which one it is, I guess. So I guess you could use this to go through each of the objects that they counted, find the red pin, and then you can get... You can get the width, height, center X, center Y. So what they gave us on the screen there was width, height, center X, and center Y. Is it not recording anything? Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't see the mic going up and down. This is the second time I've done this. Stupid mic. Uh, I didn't see anything about the angle. Let's look at the... Oh, this is your angle to the object. So if it's less than 50, got it. So it's not that the object is tilted. It's how far to the left. Or, oh, that's interesting. So this will, this example code should point the robot toward the object. That's kind of awesome. <laughs> and then, okay, okay, that's cool. It's a bit much, right? Uh, origin X and Origin Y just uses the center as that orange. So if you used Origin X and Origin Y, if X is negative, it's on the left. you got to turn left if X is, yeah. Origin Y, I'm not sure why, why you would use that as opposed to center Y. Well, this is really interesting. So you could go through the objects, find the one that's whatever you're looking for, and then get its data and then point toward it and just do that every frame until uh, until you get to something you want. This is really cool. I love it. So the new thing that wasn't there yesterday, because before you just had to find colors, but colors don't really help when there's like... Here, let's go back. I have these two blue pins right next to each other. Let's see if it can tell the difference between them to show why you might want to use this AI model instead of just looking for colors. Oh yeah, it's face <laughs> it's face the field. There we go. So I have these two blue pins over there and you can see 
the camera can tell them apart. If I get closer, you see those two blue pins there? If I was on color detection, the, that would just be one blob. But because it's using its AI, whatever model, you can see it's kind of losing the one behind it sometimes, right? But then it can kind of tell them apart. Again, I don't know how important that is, but definitely fun. Uh, this blue one on the side here, you going to be picked up? There, now I can pick it up. And now not, so it's kind of interesting. What about, <laughs> so if it's right outside, upside down, it gets it fast and it loses the other one. So it is looking for pins that are straight up and down. It's looking for those characteristic pins. Oh, now it's seeing it. That's really interesting. Anywho, very first impressions with uh, we've had the AI sensor. I grabbed a couple of those, but we didn't have this AI model. Now we have the new. AI model built for these pins and uh, looks kind of cool. Again, for Vex IQ, I'm, I'm not sure how useful it's going to be unless you're 30 seconds into your autonomous routine and correcting some errors there, but uh, for the most part, it's just kind of fun. Deuces.